Jack Troster. I'm a laboratory scientist for the Department of Agriculture. I work in chemistry, um, which is feeds, forage, fertilizer, meat, water, fuel, and right now I'm working in pesticides and commodities, milks, and bees. Samples are brought to us mostly by inspectors or by the customers and we analyze them for pesticides. We look for if, if we have a type of pesticide or a certain compound that they want us to look for, we'll go looking for a certain compound. If not, we'll do general screenings of any commodities or milks. Um, we look for any organo, chlorines, organophos, herbicides, fungicides, whatever pesticides we're looking for. In meats, we do fat, moisture, protein, salt, and nitrates are our big five. We can do other things. Uh, water activity is another that people might want to do on meats. And that's all the chemistry program does. Where the micro, they do the actual bugs, the listeria, the salmonella, that, that type of stuff. We don't deal anything in, in bugs. In one way or another, everybody in Wyoming is affected by this laboratory, whether it's our water chemistry program, which does a ton of samples all over the state, uh, not just for regulation or EPA samples, but consumers, personal wells, that type of thing, or with any food that's made in Wyoming, oftentimes we'll, we'll deal with it. Micro does a ton of samples across the state to make sure that there is no bacteria in them. And for agricultural purposes, for like the ranchers and the farmers, we'll do nitrates and haze and other things like that to make sure, you know, if something awful happens, then we can help them try to figure it out. The Analytical Services Laboratory, in one way or another, affects, I would say, the vast majority of people in, in Wyoming.